So, what's going on guys? I'm Black Ops Amazing. Welcome back to another video where today we are going to be talking about the next Treyarch game. Whether that's Black Ops 5, a Black Ops reboot just called Black Ops, or they decide to go with a whole new name, I think we can safely say that it's going to have zombies. That is Treyarch's staple, that is their thing. That's what they've had since World at War, pretty much the beginning. And it has been rumoured that this year they are making COD which is unusual because we are used to a three-year cycle. Usually, Treyarch's game would come in 2021. But going from the rumours and leaks, it looks like it is their turn again, meaning COD 2020 is going to have zombies. So I said to you guys the other day, I'm going to be making a video on Black Ops 5 Zombies, giving you my thoughts and opinions on what I want to see, where previous Zombies games went wrong, where they could improve, and just overall, how Black Ops 5 Zombies can be the best one yet. My personal favourite out of the bunch was BO3 Zombies. I just believe it had some of the best maps, Shadows of Evil, Der Eisendracker. I also quite liked Garrod Karovi. But then again, Black Ops 2 had Mab of the Dead, Origins, BO1 had Kino, World at War, Darice. They've all had really good maps, but Black Ops 4 was a little bit different because every single Ether one that we had was a remake. So it's pretty difficult for me to say that Black Ops 4 had any good Zombies maps. I don't believe, in my opinion, that those remakes were better than the originals. I mean, yes, I enjoyed Blood of the Dead, I quite liked Classified and Tag Der Toten, but they're not original. I think we all know, besides from the maps, Black Ops 4 Zombies had a lot of problems. It gained a lot of hate, so let's take a look at how BO5 can be better. And the first thing on my list is the storyline. Black Ops 4 had two different stories, Ether and Chaos. Of course, the Ether story has now come to an end, but the Chaos story, and a lot of this is in my opinion, you guys may differ, but it just wasn't very interesting. Now, this may be because it wasn't stretched out, it had only just begun, but you want it to get off to a good start. If you look back at World at War Zombies, the storyline really started in Darice, the last map, and straight away it was filled with interesting information. It was more to do with science, whereas Chaos is mythology, and that was just something I really enjoyed about it. It made it feel a little bit more realistic. The Chaos story, where it is now, even though it was left on a pretty big cliffhanger, just isn't quite interesting enough for me at this moment. And so, with the Ether story over, if they're just going to continue with the Chaos one in Black Ops 5 Zombies, for me, I don't think it's enough. Whether or not they're going to reboot the Ether story, I'm not too sure. That's kind of what I hope. I don't think there's going to be a continuation because it ended in BO4, and now with Jason Blundell leaving, I don't think it would be right to continue what was partly his story. So what I'm hoping for is either we get a reboot of Ether or a completely new story. I don't mind chaos going on at the same time, but I think we've got to have something else. And like I just mentioned with Jason leaving, because remember, chaos was also his as well. I think this is the perfect time for someone new to come in and create their own storyline. So that was my first issue with BO4 Zombies. Chaos wasn't interesting enough, and because Ether was coming to an end, it felt kind of rushed. It felt like that was kind of the reason why we had remade maps. And so I'm hoping that Black Ops 5 Zombies is the perfect opportunity to start again. The next thing I want to see is a different HUD. The HUD from BO4 was atrocious. It is, uh, it is just too big. It's cluttered. It's all over the screen. The elixirs are massive. The perks are placed along the bottom. I don't think there was any need for them to show you what weapon you have on screen. A lot of the BO4 hood is unnecessary, and I just want to see it more simple again, like we saw in BO3, BO2, BO1. The hood that we saw in BO4 kind of took away the immersion. It was just very cluttered, and along with that, I'd also like to see different hood styles for different maps. Kind of like we had in BO2, we had a unique hood for Buried to suit that theming. I believe we might have had one for Mob of the Dead and a few other maps, but more simple and themed hoods would be awesome. Next on my list, and I know this is a massive one for everyone, in BO5, I want to see a different perk system. Now, this is difficult to answer because I would say I want the old perk system to return, Juggernaut, Quick Revive, Speed Cola, but that all depends on what they do with the storyline. Of course, if we don't have Ether again, well, bringing back the perk machines, Stamina Up, Mule Kick, in the same way that we had them before, wouldn't really make too much sense. But then again, I also don't want to see the same system that we had in BO4. You might be saying, well, isn't the BO4 system better because it's more customizable? You can choose which perks you want in the map. The reason I didn't like this is because 
I don't think it was enough of a challenge. I liked going in game and then being able to choose which perk you want and if it didn't fit your playing style, you could down yourself and then choose a different perk. With Black Ops 4s, you set your perks before the game and then that's it. You can't change them whilst you're playing. Also, the original ones just felt more unique, whereas the BO4 ones don't. So the old perk system definitely has to return for me, or they have to reinvent it in BO5. I also want to talk about the elixirs and gobblegums. For me, this wasn't a massive issue. Since I rarely use them anyway, I didn't use the gobblegums much. For me, it just always felt like cheating. I like playing the original way, and I don't use the elixirs either. But I will agree that the gobblegums were much better. First off, as I mentioned earlier, the elixirs appear on your screen. They take up way too much space. And also it's the fact that they're at your disposal at any time, whereas with the gobblegums you had to go to the machine and there was a random chance of you getting the one you want. Again, it was more challenging. And that was my main issue with Black Ops 4. I just think it was a whole lot easier than previous ones. And that leads on to what I want to say next, which is the health. This kind of fits in with the perk system. Now this has changed as we've gone through the zombies life cycle. From World at War to Black Ops 2, I believe it was, there was a two hit down system. And then BO3, they changed it to three hits. And then BO4, it was four hits. Now obviously in all of those games, Prior to BO4, you could buy Juggernog, which would allow you to take an extra three hits, but BO4 didn't have Jug, four hits was your maximum, which you may think is more challenging then, but for me, it didn't feel like it. The challenge for me was always having to rebuy Juggernog again every time you went down. So what I'd like to see in BO5 is then revert back to a three hit system, that was the best one that we had in BO3, and then also give us a health system like Juggernog where we can take an extra three hits. I think that's perfect. Next on things I want to see on BO5, what I've wrote down here, I guess this kind of links into what I said at the beginning, is I want the storyline to be more based off science than myth. I want to see less of what we had in BO3 and BO4, and then more of what we saw in the beginning, in especially World at War and BO1. It felt more realistic. It was just these German scientists experimenting on people, creating an undead army for the Nazis. And then when BO3 came along, we suddenly had aliens introduced, the Apothecans, godlike figures such as Dr. Monty. I think we can agree it got a little bit out of hand, although I still enjoyed it. But I'd just like to see a more realistic approach, more science behind it. And that also goes for the aesthetics. The maps in the older days, World at War BO1, even BO2, were more scary. I want the scary aesthetic of zombies to return. Zombies anymore just isn't that. Now that could be down to the gritty graphics of those older games. I think that does have a role to play. Because if you look at remakes like Verrucked or Darice, where originally they were scary, even Nacton Shino Numa, the Zombies Chronicles remakes, well, they're not. So mostly I think that's down to graphics, but I think Treyarch could do a better job at giving us scarier zombies maps because at the end of the day it's zombies that's what it's supposed to be and i think that will return if they focus more on a science-based storyline than myth and monsters another thing i want to see is just not so many different types of enemies in one zombies map this was something that bo3 and bo4 did quite a lot it made maps more annoying having loads of different enemies especially the chaos story there was not only the zombies but we had the different elements and then we had things like the blight father and then the tigers and then the guys with the axes and the the, the, the the chainsaws okay there was no chainsaw guys but there was just way too many enemy types i don't mind two possibly three but i think more than three is kind of pushing it it ruins it my ideal map is just having two so the zombies and then a boss round like the hellhounds or the monkeys and then a boss to fight at the end of the easter egg now i've also wrote down and this one's more wishful thinking i don't think this is ever going to happen although i don't see why not it's happened in other games but allowing us the ability to create our own custom maps on console there are other games out there that give us an editor that allow us to make our own maps yes the developers give us their assets we can't create our own models but every model that they've made for a map they give it to us and we can create our own, make a different layout. Just giving us the ability to make custom maps would absolutely change the game. Of course, I'm talking about console, you can already do that on PC, but it would give the game an unlimited life cycle, and in between us waiting for DLC, waiting for the official maps to continue the story, or even after it's all over, it would just let us play the game without getting bored. So that's something I would love to see. Honestly, I don't think it's going to happen. I've also put, and I'm sure you guys will agree, but I'm hoping that Black Ops 5 Zombies 
has a totally different engine to what we saw in BO4. There was just something about Black Ops 4 that I thought, whatever map they put onto this game, if they were to introduce a Zombies Chronicles 2, I just feel like it's gonna get hate because the way that the game runs, it just doesn't quite feel right. I don't know what it is, there's something a little bit off about it. I also don't believe the graphics are as good as BO3, but the engine, and I know that every time it's just an upgrade on the previous one, they don't create a whole new engine and why would they? But the one that we had for BO3 was perfect. And then BO4, which you would expect to be better, just felt wrong. But they do improve on it every game, so we can expect that Black Ops 5 has a different engine. Hopefully the graphics look as good as they do on Modern Warfare. So for that one, I'm not too worried. I'm expecting it to be better anyway. Next, another thing which I believe we're going to see is cross-platform. We've never had that for Zombies before, but since Modern Warfare was the first game to do it, you would think that they're going to do it for every game after that. So I think BO5 will have that. And then looking at the gameplay from previous CODs, what do I want to see return? I'm kind of 50-50 on this. I enjoyed using them, but at the same time I think, did they make the experience too easy? And that's the special weapons. The Ragnaroks, the Death Machine, the Flamethrower, Takio's Katana. I enjoyed having the special weapons on deck. They were really fun to use, but at the same time, do they make the game too easy. That's one thing I've been complaining about in BO4, that there isn't really a challenge. I'm a little bit unsure of this. Let me know in the comments section below, would you like special weapons to return? Personally, I would say yes, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind if they didn't. I've also wrote down no remakes. We kind of covered that at the beginning. I don't think there will be any remakes if we get a different storyline. And then finally, finishing off with things I want to see in BO5 Zombies, daily challenges definitely has to be one. Just like we have in multiplayer for Modern Warfare, zombies can get very stale. This was something we were supposed to have in BO4. It never really occurred, but we need daily challenges with rewards. If they can link zombies into multiplayer with the same ranking up system, I think that'd be interesting. If we could unlock maybe charms for completing certain challenges in zombies maps or calling cards that we could actually use in multiplayer, kind of like in Modern Warfare, where multiplayer is linked to spec ops, you can do either and they both link in together. I'd love to see that. And then my last two things. First off, the Pack-A-Punch system in BO4 was god awful. Making us pack a punch four times I believe it is to fully upgrade our weapon. We did have the golden pack a punch in Tag Dirt Totem but in every zombies map the pack a punch system just wasn't as good as BO3. They need to either revert it to that or change it. It's just repetitive having to pop your gun four times unnecessarily just to get maximum power. And then finally the game's got to work. BO4's launch was awful, all of the glitches, the blue screens, the game not working, the easter egg ending cutscenes cutting out, that kind of ruined the experience off the bat for a lot of people, so yeah just uh, let's make sure the game actually works this time. Hopefully it does and you know what I'm looking forward to BO5 Zombies, of course a lot of these things that I'm saying now are probably irrelevant because the game would have been in the works for about two years, almost that, so the zombies mode, the maps would have already been thought out and probably being worked on most of their ideas would have been created but if they do get the chance to see videos like this perhaps they can you know add additions there's still plenty of time make changes i just really want the next zombies game to be the best it can be we all want zombies to be good and you know what i'm hopeful i think this one might surprise us so there we go let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always hopefully you have enjoyed if you have you know what to do drop a like rating make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye